Hi. Now we are here on the eleventh class and uh, covering another generic topic, generic yet very exciting topic. Why I am saying exciting? Because uh, these are those people who have made a very boring subject of finance an exciting thing. And uh, within the capital market, they have actually made it exciting. And every time you hear about them, uh, you feel a kind of excitement as well. So this topic is about stock brokers, and uh, we are going to talk about uh, who are stock brokers, what are their mechanism of work, how do they make money, what is their source of revenue, in what kind of malpractices they sometimes some broker have been involved, where this industry has gone, and how you are connected with the stock brokers. So a lot of other topics, but it's mostly in a form of talk. I will try to basically give you the inputs from uh, you know a perspective of a stock broker itself. You know, so let's start. So very first thing, you need a stock broker to start investing into stock market for sure. This is how the. So some people keep asking me, can we invest without a stock broker into equity market? And the answer is, once a company has become private. from public from pub sorry once a company has become public from a private limited company has bought it ipo and its share is listed on a stock exchange you have to go through the broking route so stock broker is an integral part of this whole equity market in fact many of the times people who come into this stock market they have been bought by stock brokers right so stock brokers go and advertise that they will help you invest into stock market you can go and open your trading and demat account with them obviously in previous chapter i have explained you that your demat account actually go with get opened with depository and they open your trading account so they help you trade and uh, they charge you a brokerage which is their source of revenue so stock broker is a person sitting between exchange and the investor his job is to take money from you into his trading account help your order sent to exchange buy the share on behalf of you and send it to your depository account which is there with nsdl or cdsl and when you want to sell they take instruction from you either a pre instruction in form of poa or delivery instruction slip ask the shares from the depository and sell it on exchange and give the money back to you and every time when they buy on behalf of you and sell behalf of you they will charge you a brokerage now there are some brokers who have come into the market and they don't charge you brokerage one of the name is jirodha upstock so there are now few companies who offer that if only you want to buy and sell in delivery so there are two type of trade one is called delivery trade another is called intraday trade so there are now some brokers who have started charging zero brokerage on the delivery charge delivery trades if you want to buy the stocks keep it with you and sell it after some time they'll not charge you brokerage this is a very new trend in india bought by jirodha market leader well they are called discounted brokers so there are two type of brokers one is categorically this is the definition one is a discounted broker and another is a full stack broker so full stack broker they tell you that apart from giving the platform they will give you call and trade kind of service also so you will call them and place your trade they will take the you know instruction on phone and uh, they will give you better reports their people will be always available with you so generally this differentiation is there that you have a full stack broker like icici direct motilal oswal i'm not favoring any broker i'm just trying to tell you about the broking industry you have to use your own wisdom to basically go and check which kind of broker you want to go with so there are two type of broker one is full stack another is discounted brokers discounted brokers generally earn through the intraday trades so they give you a platform through which you can do lot of leverage trading intraday trading into derivative into cash segment and other segment so two kind of brokers are there and both of them are doing the similar kind of job 
full stack brokers are traditional kind of brokers there was a time when they used to charge even one percent of brokerage so if you want to buy 10 lakh rupees share uh, probably 10,000 will be just the brokerage plus the additional charges but these days even the full stack broker if you go and negotiate with them they will reduce the charge they can give you anything like 10 paisa 15 paisa 20 paisa kind of brokerage right so yes you have two kind of broker job is still the same for both of them you have to develop a wisdom on how to choose the broker well we will get into this part how to choose the broker in the second video of this chapter here i want to tell you something about the broking industry so let's say a broker got a job to help you trade into the market help you buy and sell the shares well and they make money only when you buy and sell now something which you have to ponder upon is this you opened an account of let's say 10 lakh rupees with one of the stock brokers and you negotiated with him that i'll give you 20 paisa brokerage so once you have bought this 10 lakh rupees shares he'll get 2000 rupees out of it let's say you bought it and you are a very very long term investor you understand the philosophy that you have to sit tight on your investment and you'll sell it after 10 years probably or only when you need it then he'll make money after only two years 10 years another 2000 rupees probably okay now there is a broker he says that we have a very good advisory team who will keep on advising you for active investments I mean, buy today sell tomorrow i mean these kind of terms they have also coined in the market buy today sell tomorrow in the morning we will give you the call in the evening your money will get doubled not double two percent three percent return you can do leverage trading if i have one lakh rupees into your account will give you 10 lakh rupees to trade in a day you trade that day make good money go home so these kind of offerings the another broker is doing to you why he is doing this advices and most of the time these advices comes at no cost so one stock broker supposedly become a stock advisor as well and here comes the biggest conflict of interest what is that conflict of interest is something let's cover in the second chapter and that is where you will get the second video and that is where you will exactly get the idea that uh, how you have to choose your broker just to do a recap so stock broker is that middleman in the industry who is helping you connect with stock exchange helping you exchange your shares with money your money with exchange uh, money with shares and there are many different brokers in the market uh, full stack brokers and discounted brokers some of the name i have taken upstock and jirodha on the discounting side icici direct motilal oswal aditya birla money angel carvi was one till very i think carvi is still there but obviously they came up with some case and it is still being uh, scrutinized so this is about the stock brokers how to choose a stock broker is something we are going to cover into the second video let's meet in the next video